Hey, what's going on everyone? Ryan again with RPK Customs. I just wanted to make this quick video to show off the latest build that I just finished up. This is an A New Hope style uh, vintage Graflex. So if you watch my video, my previous video, I think it was about two or three videos back, uh, you've seen my new vintage that I went and picked up from Indiana the other night. So I... I debated for a couple of days whether or not I was even going to convert this. Um, I mean, the flash handle was in immaculate shape. There was no dings or blemishes anywhere in the chrome plating. And it was just, uh, it was a very, very nice piece. And it came with the box, um, came with paperwork, the cords, all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, I, just, I debated back and forth whether or not I was even going to convert this. Um, but I decided to go with a new Hope version. Uh for a couple reasons. One is I already had a conversion kit from Wanawanga for A New Hope. So it would have been, you know, kind of easy and quick. I wouldn't have to wait for shipping and all that. Uh, second reason is because I always consider the A New Hope version to be um, a little bit nicer. It just, it feels a little bit more elegant when you're holding it than the Empire Strikes Back version does. And since this was in such good shape, I figured, you know, it kind of... Um, it could, the A New Hope version would kind of work well with this uh, this particular flash unit. So I guess I'll just kind of go over everything that I've done, all the accuracy mods, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So like I said, I used a Wanawanga conversion kit. Um, at least the bubble strip and the, um, the D-ring, I believe, came in a kit. The grips were just um, the standard T-tracks that were oversized and I cut them and shaped them by hand. So each one of these angles is a little bit different. And uh, I tried to reference the Chronicles photos from the RPF the best that I could for that. Now the grip spacing, um, I didn't really follow the Chronicles too much. I believe it's this T-track right here is uh, a little bit off center. Um, it's a little bit wonky on the original prop and I chose not to do that on this prop. No, maybe it was this one. Yeah, I think it was this one because it lined up with the, uh, the square hole right here. So it was just a little bit off, off center. And, uh, I just decided to go a little bit more idealized with the grip spacing only because this was again, in such the, the flash unit itself was in such good shape that uh, I didn't want anything too wonky on this build. And I did not use the um, wonky, the new wonky D-ring setup that uh, Wana Wonga provides either. I used just the standard uh, new style D-ring. Uh, so like I said, I cut all these by hand, um, trying to follow the Chronicles photos the best I could. So each one is just a little bit different. I used a Wanawanga bubble strip. Um, this is their new bubble strip. I believe it's new where, here, maybe I'll just take it out. Might be easier to see. Maybe. There we go. So you can see how it's kind of uh, got these little shoulders on it right here. I believe their older version was just kind of a flat piece of acrylic with the bubbles on it. Uh, this version is a lot more accurate to the Exactor 20 bubble strip that we see on the original prop. Now, like I said, there were some things that I chose to leave off for this build. Um, in the Chronicles photos, you can see that the rivet right here is, or the rivet head is a lot bigger than what you see right here and on all Graflex flash units. Um, I don't know if that's because the lever broke at some point and they just quickly replaced the head on that. I'm not really sure, but it does appear to be a lot bigger in the photos. Um, I chose to leave this version off because 
I just did not want to really damage this, uh, this flash unit in any way. Um, I do have a spare vintage lever, but, uh, it's in kind of rough shape and I just wanted this to be kind of as clean as possible. Now, one reason I went with the A New Hope version is because this style of Graflex, everything can be glued extremely easy as opposed to the um, Empire Strikes Back version. Uh, you can still glue everything on the Empire Strikes Back version. I did not on my personal one. Um, if you watched a couple videos ago, I said that I drilled into the bottom can which permanently altered uh, this flash gun. Um, but like I said, I will never be selling this. This is my personal flash gun. And Empire Strikes Back uh, version of the Graflex is my favorite version. But this one was so nice that I just could not justify drilling into this uh, just to attach a D-ring. And same thing goes for these rivets right here. Um, these are just cut flush and glued in place. And then I filled them with a little bit of black paint. I left the rivets heads a little bit more jagged, uh, just because in the Chronicle photos they don't look um, they don't look all that pristine to me. It could just be trick of the lighting, not really sure, but uh, I did kind of leave those a little bit jagged on purpose. I might go back and kind of file those heads a little bit flatter, just to clean it up a little bit, just to match the uh, cleanness of the rest of the hilt. But uh, for right now, they serve their purpose. But, I mean, you can just see this thing is in immaculate shape. Uh, the only blemishes I can see are right here, where the, uh, the slide tab slides up and down. And there is one tiny, tiny little spot I believe it's right there under the clamp. Or, nope, it's right here on this side. Right there, you can barely see it. But that's it. I mean, the rest of this thing is just in pristine condition. It almost looks like I bought it brand new right off the showroom floor. Now, this one's a little bit different. Um, I was talking to a, a few people from the Facebook groups and I noticed when I bought this, that this came with steel smooth pins and I was not aware that they made steel smooth pins. So the general consensus is that this is a Fulmer top with Fulmer straight pins, even though these are steel and not brass. Um, like I said, I've never seen steel brass pins before, but it's pretty unique. But the bottom tube right there says Graflex Ink, and we have the patent number. So at the end of the day, this is an ink. But this is just a beautiful, beautiful vintage piece. And I will be keeping this in my collection. I mean, there's very, very little scratches right there in the plating, but I mean, you can barely tell as opposed to my Empire Strikes Back version, which has scratches and nicks pretty much everywhere. But that's okay because that just adds a little bit of character. Uh, two vintage red buttons on this one.
But I think that'll about do it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a message. You can find me on Facebook, RPK Customs, Instagram, RPK Customs, email, uh, rpkcustoms at gmail.com. I am open for commissions, so if you are interested in getting a vintage or a replica Graflex built by me, just shoot me a message with all the details, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. May the force be with you.